mindset, uh, without the mindset, um, the, a couple of things happen with regards to change. One is when you um, see change, if you have a kind of a negative mindset, a fearful mindset, you're going to start to back away from whatever's approaching you. And you've got to remember in life, things don't come at you unless you've either invited them through your mindset or um, they're new opportunities because you've set out a desire or wish. I really wish I could be a public speaker. All of a sudden, in comes change, in comes the opportunity, and you're like, wait, no, I'm not ready. Well, you are. The only thing that's not ready at that moment is your mindset. I think mindset is really the motor that drives the whole change process. And if you have goals in your life, it's great, but if you don't have the proper mindset, you'll just be you know, running in circles. So uh, the first thing to do is really to uh, be aware of your present state and to uh, see if your mindset fits the goals you want to accomplish because most of the time we have a different mindset than the goals we want to reach and in order to you know, reach those higher goals we have to change our mindset because that's what's going to uh, push us forward. Mindset is imperative uh, to everything, change everything. Uh, without having your mind in the right place you're never going to be in the right place. Until you can get your mind to open up to possibilities, you're never going to have possibilities. Your mindset is one of the most important things in, in affecting change. If, uh, if, you're, if you have a poor uh, mindset or you know, you're, you're focusing on the, you know, the negative things, you're going to be, you know, uh, you know, you know we tend to gravitate toward, uh, towards the things that we're focusing on. So uh, you're, we want to be aware of our uh, of our mindset and how important it is to the change that we want to get so once we decide what change we want we also need to know that we need to get our mind working with us harmoniously to uh, to help us get get to the uh, the desired outcomes your mindset is all of it it's semantics really mindset but if you're in a crappy mood your body creates physiology that feels like a bowling ball in the pit of your stomach or you know lead or heaviness in the shoulders and I find that when people try to change when they have this phys physiology that is a function of their mindset it makes it uh, incredibly hard and most people fail so mindset is key mindset is everything uh, mindset will uh, give you the give you the ability to move forward when things get tough and they always do get tough um, you see some people make it through and some people don't and uh, usually mindset is what sets them apart I think you have to be very careful on what you feed your mind and I don't know that many people uh, out there are too concerned primarily about how they treat their subconscious and so they wonder why they're not successful so for instance if you're a person that is consistently watching the news and hearing about how bad things are then that's going to sit in your subconscious it's what goes on based on your programming that you've had the mind operates very similar to a computer so your subconscious mind is all the programming that's become automatic as you journey through your day basically uh, on our conscious mind we operate on such a level that we're thinking and considering what we're doing but all those things that happen in the background happen in the subconscious. The subconscious mind is what governs your existence, whether you know it or not. It's the sleeping giant. Uh, the subconscious mind processes information literally just hundreds and thousands of times faster than the conscious mind. The cleaner my subconscious, the, the better I think of myself, the more I've cleared out the negative emotional stuff then the better my experience, the, the more joyous my experience, the more, the more life becomes life, it becomes lively, it becomes experience. I think of it like a computer. So my subconscious mind for me are all the things that make a computer work that work unseen behind the scenes. And I think it's very important to remember that computers come with default programs and they c you can rewrite programs. So I, th I always think of change as something that can be rewritten in the same way that a computer program come, can. But the subconscious for me is all the stuff that makes the computer work that we don't necessarily see going on but is absolutely crucial. And sometimes part of your computer stops working 
and that's when you need to get help in the same way that um, I did three years of therapy because I was unhappy and I couldn't work out why. So I needed to know where the unhappiness was coming from and what I could do about it, but I couldn't make changes until I realised why my programmes were written like they were. You've had a tough background, if you have a tough loss when you were a very young child. Uh, your subconscious mind maybe stocks uh, negative and you know negative energy and uh, bad experiences and you you maybe you will uh, anchor that experience with a bad future so uh, someone who has had a you know tough a tough luck as, as a child will maybe think that during all his life he's stuck with a tough luck if you have been told over and over uh, you're not smart or you'll never be anything beaten into you for all those years you know as so many of us had struggling childhoods um, you have to retrain your subconscious to not buy into that. So I think unless you're aware that you have to train yourself on a conscious and subconscious level by changing your mindset that you're never really going to reach the successes that you want.